everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell from the title, and you might be able to tell from this, it depends whether you've ordered something from there or not before. Anyway, you can tell from the title, you know what this video is, because that's why you've clicked on it. Today, I'm filming a Sisters and Seekers haul, which it's been a little while, actually, since I've done one. Like, I've bought things from Sisters and Seekers, but, like, they've been the odd piece here and there. It's never been, like, a big order. But today, well, not today, maybe, like, last week, I did a big order, big-ish. A fairly sizable order, so I thought we'd sit down together, go through it, do a little Sisters and Seekers haul. Because, like I said, it's been a little while. I miss it. I love their stuff. So, here we are. So, Sisters and Seekers try and haul. Everything will be linked down below, along with my Instagram and my TikTok, which you should definitely go over and follow me on if you're not already feel like I'm rambling already, so I'm just going to get straight on with it. We're going to start off with this. And this is their Spoiled Rotten Jumper, which is like a lovely knitted, like, black jumper with white detailing. And this isn't that new. This has been out for a while, actually. But at first, when it came out, I wasn't really that fussed by it. Like, it was nice, but wasn't really, like, over the moon obsessed with it. But then I saw a TikTok of... Oh, I think she's... Oh, no, I'm going to get this wrong. I think she's Scottish, and she does makeup. No, she doesn't actually where the hell is that come from she's liverpudlian i know her name now it's fenlon interiors is it fenlon interiors oh my god now i'm doubting myself she's liverpudlian i think and she does a lot of like home sense interior stuff basically anyway she basically posted a tiktok wearing this with like a shirt dress underneath and black knee high boots and it looked so good and then i was like actually i really like that jumper so she was on the influence of me to buy this i got this in a medium and for reference i'm five foot five and i'm a size six and i don't know if maybe i should have got the small because the medium is actually quite oversized like i think it's an oversized fit anyway so maybe stick true to size with this but yeah i'm thinking of wearing it with like white shirt underneath like she did kind of as like a jumper dress because you've obviously got the black in it and also the white so you can like tie it in together and you can also get a matching jumper of this to go with your dog which i would absolutely do i'm sorry billy and reggie you would be in it for an instagram picture if they would actually fit in it but i have two golden retrievers and like they don't fit in dog clothing i would literally need to buy them each of their own medium sized jumpers to fit in so it's not going to work but if you had like a cute little dash hound or like a french bulldog or something you can get a matching jumper to match with your little pooch which i think is absolutely adorable um, and then i got another jumper which is fairly new and i keep seeing a lot of people like post about this basically whenever sisters and seekers come up with a new collection i am on the website as soon as it comes out and i have a look at everything and i know what bits are going to sell out basically so i always make sure like if i want them i get them but i saw this when it first came out again liked it but wasn't like wow by it but then i kept seeing people buying it and styling it and then it made me want to get it as well if that makes sense and this is like a knitted beige ribbed jumper i think it's gunther yeah no is it yes it is i don't know yes i think this is the gunther knit um and what i didn't realize about this until it turned up so like you see this detailing here i assumed that this was black i don't know why i just did um but it's actually like a navy color which i do quite like i think it works really nicely with the beige so it's kind of like this ribbed knitted like jumper i got this one in a size small and then it says skr jeans on it um in like a blue knitting thing and they've just come out with like this kind of like skr jeans on a hoodie and it was giving me adenola hoodie vibes it was one of the things like i'm rambling now and i'm not making sense basically they came out of a collection like last week or the week before and this hoodie was released in it and it sold out within like 15 minutes i think and i was on there and i could have ordered it if i wanted to but i was really proud of myself i decided that i actually didn't need another sisters and seekers hoodie because i do have a lot of them i.e this one but they do now have that as well so if you like this kind of print thing they also have it on a hoodie which is so nice um but yeah this is just like an oversized jumper and i kept seeing people wearing it and it was quite popular like it sold out people were selling it for stupid prices on depop and vintage so i wanted to get it to see what the hype is about but i do like it like i like the beige and everything i do really like it but i'm also like how would i style this like i know there's so many ways to style it but for me i just feel like i'd end up wearing this just around the house of leggings and i don't want to do that like if i'm going to spend like 54.99 i think this was on a jumper i want it to be something that i'm going to get a lot of wear out of and actually wear out the house because to be honest it doesn't really matter what i wear in the house and no i was going to see me i could wear like a two pound fifty primark jumper rather well you'd be lucky to get a jumper for two pound fifty in primark but you know what i mean i don't want to spend lots of money on clothes i'm just going to wear in the house and i think that this potentially could be something that I sort of wear more on cosy days in the house rather than days out. Does that make sense? So not too sure about that. Then next up in the bag, I did actually get something from the collection that they literally released the other day, which is part of their hooligans range, which is like football themed type thing. And I got this, which is a t-shirt because we all know my love and obsession for Sisters and Seekers t-shirts. I think I literally have minimum of 15, like it's a bit of a joke. Um, and I saw this one, I got this in a large and it is a plain white t-shirt 
it then just says collagen on it and it's like kind of like bubble black font which i do quite like really um although now i'm holding up against me i don't know if it's going to be big enough to wear as a t-shirt dress maybe i should have got in an extra large and it does have like a bit of um black like there's like black specks on the collar which i don't think are meant to be there i think maybe once you wash it they'd like come off i think it's just like little bits of like um fibers like kind of stuck to it so I, that's not actually like part of the design but that does need to come off in the wash because that's how it's like turned up but yeah basically just an oversized t-shirt they also had like some cycling shorts to go with this or they wore cycling shorts with it can't quite remember anyway it looks really really nice so either it's like a jumper not a jumper dress a t-shirt dress or some cycling shorts this with leggings oh i've just thought actually this leggings like black leggings white like sports socks like you know high up and then some like new balance in like black or something would look so nice like a sporty look and maybe like a black cap that is literally just planted an outfit idea in my head which i think i might have to wear because like a nice athleisure comfy kind of vibe i absolutely love that and then i actually got another t-shirt as well um this one is not quite the color that i thought it was going to be if i'm honest it's just a little bit more like yellowy than i was expecting i was more sort of expecting like a cool tone brown whereas i feel not like brown but like beige whereas i feel like this is more of like a golden warm tone brown and i'm not sure i love it if i'm honest it's not really like a color i love beige but it's a slightly weird beige i feel like but anyway this i got in a medium so i don't think this is going to be big enough for what i want anyway um and it just says on it god's favorite um in like this white kind of like pixelated almost writing and then it's got this like brown like slightly bubble font again like um flame type thing um and i quite liked like the color scheme and everything but now it's actually in person like i said this color isn't quite what i want and i wanted it to wear as a t-shirt dress as well but because they only had it in stock in a medium um it's not gonna be quite as big as i wanted unfortunately but it's still like a nice t-shirt like they're such thick quality and they are really really lovely but this one just like personally for my personal taste i'm not fully feeling and then i actually got a pair of bottoms because i've realized that all of this haul has literally been top half so far but i did get a pair of bottoms which for some reason i have ended up leaving in this packaging which was unintentional but also i'm gonna kind of make that work and look like i did that on purpose because they've actually changed their packaging like i feel like in my first sisters and seekers haul like that i did like a couple years ago i was literally like obsessed with their like they used to do like tissue paper packaging and they had like these stickers on them with slogans on and i always used to show you guys the slogans in the videos um they've now changed them to this which are like these plastic bags which to be honest i do think are a little bit better purely because when i get parcels like this in the post that are like paper i do worry that like, if i'm out and the parcel gets delivered and it's raining even if i'm only out for like an hour going to do the food shop the stuff inside could then get ruined from the rain whereas at least like because they're now packaged up in this if the outer parcel gets wet at least this doesn't if you know what i mean and also although these are now plastic and they used to be paper it does say on them that they're made from sugarcane and can be composted at home on a compost heap or with your kitchen garden waste once the glue strip is removed so um yeah and then on the front it says s is for sexy compostable bag so that is like quite a good thing actually because we don't want any unnecessary plastic going into the world into the world into the seas into our earth universe anyway so these are a pair of joggers which i got to match this hoodie that i've got so i currently just have on these like h&m leggings to go with this jumper that i just like had anyway they were like the closest sort of color match that i had to this jumper but they're not quite right and then i saw that sisters and seekers have actually got some joggers that match this hoodie so this is the holy hoodie from sisters and seekers and these are the gear sweatpants in bone and i got these in a size small i just thought it'd be quite nice to have like a full-on matching like co or jogger set and i'm not really one for joggers i'm not really like a tracksuit kind of person but i absolutely love this hoodie so i wanted to try the joggers to see if i liked it together like i normally prefer to wear a hoodie with leggings like i am now but i thought i'd get the joggers to try them with the hoodie and see if i can be converted so these are the joggers they're pretty simple and basic um so i've just got this elasticated waistband and then they go down like so that is them not really a lot to them elasticated on the bottom but i'll probably roll them up a little bit because i prefer that look with joggers they've got pockets on the front and then here they've got a very subtle bit of um like branding it just says sisters and seekers in a slightly like 3d font um quite small and they're like the same color as the joggers so it's subtle but there's a little bit of something there which i do quite like and then on the inside of the joggers they've got like a drawstring so you can fold over like bear with bear with 
bear with like that if you wanted the jogger sh like string showing but basically you can like cinch them in and like make them fit you and then have it like that so you don't have the strings hanging out which i quite like and they do feel really lovely and soft on the inside as well actually they're really really fluffy and yeah i just thought i'd get them to try them with the hoodie maybe have like a little matching color type thing and that is everything that i got from, Sis from sisters and seekers this time around i did actually also get a couple of bits from sisters and seekers for christmas last year and also for my birthday which was at the start of this year and i was gonna just chuck them into this haul as well but i decided i'm just gonna stick to the bits that i ordered and then if you want to see some other sisters and seekers bits that i've got recently go and watch my what i got for christmas and my what i got for my birthday uh, they're not too far back on my channel so if you just scroll down you'll find them um because there's a couple of new sisters and seekers bits in both of those videos as well so if you want to see them go over and watch that but yeah that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already i will do some more sisters and seekers hauls this year and um, when they bring out new collections and stuff because i cannot resist like i've been a fan of them from like way back when like way before they became like popular on tiktok so they do hold a very special place in my heart so i will definitely do more sisters and seekers hauls in the future and i'll see you at some point soon in another video bye